The funding gap, I think, for, for the current year, I think our liquidity position has uh, improved quite significantly. Uh, for the current year, we are quite comfortable that we'll be able to fund the full funding requirement for the year. Um, that is on the basis that uh, we have uh, the equity injection that is promised by government of 23 billion. Uh, we've got a mega facility that's been approved, an AFDB facility that's been approved. Um, there is potentially a, an, an issuance of a, of, of a global bond later in the uh, financial year. But again, depending on market conditions, uh, we may want to also um, look at a, at a syndicated loan uh, facility that will be a uh, plan B to the, to the global bond if market conditions are not uh, acceptable. Um, taking into account all of these funding facilities, we should end the year with a cash balance in the, bar, in the region of about uh, 10 to 15 billion, uh, giving, um, having taken into account all of the uh, risks that the organization is, is uh, facing at the moment. Um, if we look at uh, the new financial year, I think um, given the fact that we will end the year with about a 15 billion cash balance, the 47 billion funding requirement for next year basically reduces to around 30. We have the RCA, if uh, successfully concluded, that will contribute quite significantly to the balance of the funding requirement. Um, we also have uh, the Duva claim that we've spoken about that uh, could also be liquidated. Um, there is a private placement of about 10 billion that we've already concluded for next year as well. Um, so from that perspective, I think the, the organization is very well positioned from a liquidity perspective for, this fund for the rest of this financial year as well as the next financial year. On the um, uh, question around the components of the RCA. Um, the exact values of the uh, different elements are disclosed in the um, application itself, um, but the main elements are really the revenue component, where the volumes um, at which we obviously projected versus the actual is different. So that is the biggest portion of the, of the claim. Um, then you have some IPP um, uh, amounts as well where the pace at which we have executed IPPs is different to what we anticipated in the uh, MYPD3 application. And then the last portion of the, of the application is the use of, the, of diesel uh, compared to uh, other sources of, of uh, generation.